Kirchhoff's voltage law requires that all the voltages summed up around a closed loop must equal zero. This can be written in terms of the electric field as the line integral around a closed loop of the electric field dotted with dl. So Kirchhoff's voltage law says that this must be equal to zero. So basically we're finding out now that Kirchhoff's voltage law is incomplete. Just like earlier with Ampere's law, we learned that Kirchhoff's current law is incomplete. Now we're finding out that when there are time, there are fields that are varying in time, in this case, we have the B field is changing in time. I'll just keep it general there, just BDD, BDT. Then this Kirchhoff's voltage, voltage law no longer holds. So instead of equal to zero, we would have it's equal to minus the surface integral dbdt dotted with n hat ds. And if we were to remove the wire completely, we would get a more general expression that holds even for free space, where we just have the electric field and the magnetic, the magnetic flux density changing in time. This is Faraday's law in the integral form and the time domain form. In plain language, this equation says that a time-varying B field generates an electric field that forms closed loops, that's from this, around the B field vectors. And this holds in both free space or in any material. Now let's spend a minute talking about directions. This equation holds regardless of how we define our coordinate system and the directions. What I recommend you do is you choose a direction for n hat maybe here, like in the direction of the B field. So the positive n hat direction would be out of the screen in the direction of the B field. Then via the right hand rule with your thumb pointing in the direction of n hat, the positive direction for the line integral for DL would be in the counterclockwise direction. The DL would be in this direction. So that's why here the electric field is in the opposite direction as DL. See here it's oriented in the opposite direction. And that's because we have a minus sign here, which gives the electric field a negative sign in our equation. If we were to define n hat to be into the screen, then the B field would be in the opposite direction of n hat. We'd get a not negative sign here multiply that by another negative, we get a positive number and we'd have E would be in the direction of DL. So either way, uh, just choose a direction for N hat or choose a direction for DL and as long as you use the right hand rule and you're consistent, then the signs will work out. All right, take out your in-class project notebook and make a note about how we can use a railgun to launch our projectile. Describe how the railgun would work and all the different currents and magnetic fields that are involved and how they relate to Faraday's law.